Good damn morning, Americans. Jericho Green here with you once again. And don't forget, hit that notification bell because as we all know, every time that bell rings, a piece of shit liberal cries. And I'm about to cry, people. I'm about to cry. <clears throat> cry. <clears throat> cry. Tears of joy. There is a petition going around to get Gavin Bang Your Wife Newsom recalled from office. Bam, 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 bam. Buh, buh. <laughs> Ding dong, the wicked witch is about to be dead. Now, I will have the link in the description box. All you have to do is click, print, fill it out, ship it. And let's start the process of claiming California for ourselves once again. Did you know last night I went and put gas in my car and I paid $3.89 a gallon? Is California getting their gas from somewhere different than the rest of the country? Because, I don't know, a couple weeks ago, I put on my uh, YouTube page under the community section, I wanted to know... What kind of gas, what kind of prices are you guys paying for gas? Those of you who watch my videos. And I heard from everybody across the country and around the world. Now, 389 is high as giraffe pussy for gas. But I heard from some people in Australia and Europe that are paying $10 a gallon for gas? Shit! Now, I don't want to get anywhere near that, and in order to stay away from that, we need to get Gavin Newsom the fuck out of office. $3.89 for one gallon of gas? The reason we pay more for gas and everything else is because of taxes. We are taxed more than anybody else by a mile. We pay, on top of the average of 14%, we pay 13.3% more taxes in California. On every damn thing, you name it, there's tax on it. But I don't see the fruits of that. I don't see my money going to work for me. We were driving, my wife and I were going somewhere last night, and down the middle of this street, it's a few miles long, it's down a city called Seaside. The main street is called Fremont. And if you go down a certain section of Fremont, now there are these, I guess, this fence. There's a fence on this side, like a sidewalk in the middle, and a fence on the other side, protecting whoever is on this, in this section. And I'm like, what the fuck is that? What, what is it? A new sidewalk? And there's sidewalks on either side of the street, so it can't be another sidewalk, right? It's a fucking bike path, a bike lane. Do we have that many people riding bikes around here that you need to spend my tax money on a fucking bike lane? Is there, been, is there gonna be an influx of bicyclists? Why are you spending that money on that bullshit? That's what I mean. Gavin Newsom just passed a bill or whatever the fuck you want to call it where he's going to spend over 100 million dollars on health care for illegals between the ages of 19 and 26 the age where you don't need health insurance you're between the ages of 19 and 26 you'll be no healthier in your life but i wonder why they did that what happened did your mistress need some new titties does she want a new apartment, a new car, or she's going to tell your wife? This is what they do. They create shit for them to take money from. The fuck we need to spend that money on some illegals for? How about you fix these streets? How about you improve the quality of food in schools for our children? How about you hold these single parents home to task for creating these monsters? Why don't you put that money into homeless shelters? Open up some fucking insane asylums. I don't know, but maybe a thousand different things than spending it on healthy, strong back motherfuckers that shouldn't be here. Did you know that Californians voted to speed up the death penalty process? And Gavin Newsom used an executive order to say, no, I know better than you. Shut up. 
Why don't you taste the stroke of my pen? And you know what? This whole time, I'm saying the Broad Squad, you know, uh, Ilhan Omar, the Somali double agent, Rocco Cortez, you know, them. I've been saying this whole time that they're a bunch of mouth-breathing dumbasses. And I was wrong because I can learn something from them. I can take something from them. One of them. Rashida Tulalib. Remember when she said, we're going to impeach that motherfucker. Well, guess what? We're going to recall the motherfucker. And you guys are thinking we couldn't learn anything from that dog-faced bitch. Yes, we can. We're going to recall the motherfucker. <laughs> you hear that, Gavin? You hear that? That's the sound of people's printers inside of their home printing up these pieces of paper so we can sign them and ship them in and have your ass out of here. I'm so tired of this shit. I'm so tired of being looked at as these, as these crazy granola-headed dirt fuckers. All Californians don't believe in that shit. We don't all believe in this sanctuary state bullshit. Our state isn't even a sanctuary for us. How fucked up is that? But if you're not supposed to be here, if you're illegal, we got you. You don't have to do nothing but sit down and put your feet up. Hey, hey, stupid work in California. Get over here with those grapes and palm leaves. Start feeding them grapes one by one, and they better be peeled. Fan this illegal. Pamper them. Treat them well. They're better than you. They work harder than you, and they love their families more than you. Hey, stupid Californian, get your ass over here. Take that illegal shoes off and rub their feet. Wash their feet. Massage them because they're better than you. You know, there was this group of priests and preachers on Capitol Hill, and they had some illegals out there, and they're washing these illegals' feet. They said they were doing this to show that show appreciation for these illegals walking so far to get here, going through such peril and danger to get here. They even compared them to Mary and Joseph walking, trying to find a place to have Baby Jesus. So let me get this straight. These illegals coming here to steal the American dreams and commit more crimes are the same as the mother and father who made Jesus. Do you hear this shit? This is what the fuck is going on in California. This is why we need to remove this piece of shit. Because he's putting others ahead of the Californians who employ his bitch ass. I'm your boss. How many jobs can you work at where you tell the boss, shut the fuck up. I'm going to do what I want to do. I'm going to follow the rules that I want to follow. And any rules you give me to follow, if I don't like them, I'm going to change them. And you can't do shit. How long would you last at that job? Does that job even exist outside of politics? Probably not. But the link will be in the description box. We need a 1.5 million people to sign and send. I think we can do that. I think we have more than 1.5 million Californians who are tired of this shit. Who are tired of opening your wallet going, what the fuck? Where'd all the money go? They got the same gas over there that we got over here. Why is mine $2 more than theirs? Because we have shitty government. California is literally falling apart around us. And the, gover the government doesn't give a shit. Look at this. Look at that street. Look at that crack. Look like a damn crocodile's back. But you're taking 13% of my income. Where the fuck is it? Riding across these bumpy ass roads. Failing schools. You got to speak Spanish just to get in a damn school. How is that? 
This shit needs to be fixed. We have way too much money coming through this state. We got more money coming through the state than every other damn state combined. Maybe minus New York. Maybe. And we are living in shit. I got to give my kids a damn earmuffs walking down the street because some crazy homeless motherfucker might be yelling something. Had a friend of mine go to Santa Cruz. Some drug-addled homeless piece of shit starts calling her names of her husband. But you know why she felt safe? She told me, she said, you know what? Despite all that, I felt safe. Despite the profanity and the aggressive nature of this person, I felt safe. Why? Because she said her dad had a concealed carry. And she knew ultimately he would fix the situation. Ultimately, they would be safe. Because he was able to protect them with the gun. Now, did her dad pull his gun and start shooting everybody in the fucking mall? No. Because people with a normal brain don't do that. But they can protect themselves from people who do. Guns? Gun rights? Can you? Do we have gun rights in California? Can I even say gun? Sure. I don't even know. I don't even know if I can say that word. We got the N-word. We got the N-word. Now we got the G-word. Can I say gun? Ooh. I guess we'll find out. I guess if the unmarked vehicle pulls up with a burlap, burlap sack to put over my head, I guess we know I can't say gun anymore. Guns. Luckily, the sheriff in the county I live in is pretty liberal with concealed carries. So I'm, I'm in the process of doing that right now before we get a new sheriff who's probably from the, the Newsom tree and we can't have that shit anymore. All the law, man, the gun laws in California are fucking crazy. I'm, su I'm surprised they even sell them anymore. But in order to change all these things, in order to improve our education and our infrastructure and actually get gun rights, you go one state over, you can have any gun you want. What's the difference? Why does that imaginary line make such a difference? It's because our government is shit. Our governor is shit. And now is our opportunity to get rid of his ass. Please check the description box. Now, I took the day off. Let me go hang out with my beautiful daughter, take her to the mall, and spend my hard-earned money on her. But you know how it goes. I try to be done with the left, but they just won't let me. Please, subscribe, hit that notification bell, utilize the PayPal link and the Teespring link to get your green gear. I am Jericho Green. Man, I'm out.